Good morning, folks. Good article to start here, actually using indirect evidence of protoplanetary clouds, but they do not discuss such a planet's magnetospheric strength and what role it would play in the planet's survival. Hmm. Speaking of planets, get out there and see Venus and the Moon together. I just did. It's amazing. You got till about 9 a.m. local time. On to the news. This is Newfoundland getting smacked by Tropical Storm Leslie. It's still early and the damage totals won't be in for a while. Something totaling as we go, even more flooding in Pakistan has pushed the death toll from 78 to near 100 now. Two buoys north of Australia still active, but up north near Alaska, another in event mode, and that, folks, is some serious chop. Too big for no other buoys to show could be an underwater landslide. This is the article from yesterday's bulletin. Tough to read some of this stuff. And just a quick look here at Asia's next cyclone. The Arctic will not settle down. We took more quakes up north yesterday. We had a downgraded 5.8 in the Mariana Islands region, registered as a 6.6 and 6.4 originally. Also at a 5.6 in Greece, which was registered as a 6.5 up near the top. Also a 6.2, 6.0. Tough to tell why some readings get ignored. Looking at the GOES X-ray flux from two days ago, we see those M flares. Now why would I show you days old data? Look at the blue and red lines. Now here's today's chart. Only minor C flares, but you should notice the purple and orange underlying the blue and red. That's the GOES 14 data, which is here to pick up the slack during the 15 drop-offs like you see here. Touche, guys. Having a look at the solar wind telemetry from ACE, the yellow solar wind speed is the primary focus right now, mostly down near 300 kilometers per second, even registering lower a bit. I expect a significant change soon, however. Look at these coronal holes. I'm actually surprised a few haven't affected Earth in the last day or two, but we got some bigger ones coming. NOAA didn't hear me yesterday. They still have 11.569 labeled as one beta spot. So I'll say it again. Either this is two sunspots or it must be labeled beta gamma. Frankly, I think it's two separate beta gamma regions. I'll leave you with a close-up of her swinging in, crackling in a mix of 193 and 304 angstroms. That's the news, folks. Be safe.